T-Berg Media and Mighty Mike's Auto Repair Machine. Residing in Webster, Massachusetts, it's Rob Hendrickson. Field is set as a thunder off of turn number four, 25 laps. For the pure stocks as they rolled out it to turn number one, and it is Cordera setting the pace down the back straightaway. Down to the inside goes the six of Gould looking for second. Rotundo caught on the outside as they hit turns three and four. Rotundo right up on Gould. Brightman in there as well, trying to make it three wide for second. Souza, Perry, and Riley are three wide. That's for fifth, with Riley now getting into the thick of things. Off of turn number four they come, and Rotundo backsliding on the top side. The five of Brightman. Slides up into the third spot. Ethan Souza right there behind as they head down the back. Straight away behind them, the 15 of Lambert, the zero of Perry racing side by side. Henrik sits right there behind him as they come off of turn number four. Top five ducks in a row is down the back straight away with a lot of separation between Gold and Brightman, second and third with Cordera still leading the pack deep in the field, double wide for eighth with Lambert and Henricks. Top two in a breakaway and a battle for the lead off of turn number two. The six of Gould taking a look down to the inside. Settles it back behind down through three and four. They come off the corner. Gould takes a look to the outside. Meanwhile behind them, here comes Rotundo back up through. He's up into the third spot sliding by Nick Brightman and Souza takes a look down to the inside there trying to get in the top four. Souza right up on Brightman, contact made. Brightman keeps it under control. Gould still chasing Kodera around turn two with Henrik still dead even with Lambert for seventh. Off the corner of the field, thunders and problems on the 0-2 of Gardner as he tries to limp that car around back to the pit area as the leaders continue to pull away. Now Rotundo starting to close in that gap. He's got the reel out, he's got the hook baited, and he is trying to reel in the top two down the back straight away. He's closed the lead to five car lengths down into the corner. Brightman back into fourth with Souza right on his left rear bumper chasing the fourth spot with Cordero still leading the pack has a, has Gould, Gould out by about two car lengths Gould now shutting it down into turn four off across the stripe in nine laps up on the board in the field thundering down the front straight away the big battle going on right now is fourth as Brightman trying to squeeze out the 30 of Souza, and he does, and as he does that, the zero of Perry slides up the racetrack to look to the outside. Mike Henrik's trying to fill the hold out of the inside, but not able to get it done. They settle it in, nose to tail across the stripe for lap number 10. Rotundo right behind Gould, finally caught up to him for a second, with Cordero still leading the pack with 11 laps now up on the board. Brightman leading Souza by half a car length with Perry working the outside looking for fifth. The 30 of Souza gets underneath Brightman. They race double wide down the back straightaway into turn three. Brightman a little bit stronger down the straightaway. Souza quicker in the corners as they continue to race side by side down the front straightaway. Brightman all sorts of crust up, gathers it back in, slides up just a little bit, but Souza cannot take advantage. We've hit the halfway mark. 13 laps down, 12 to go for Kadera. Gould, and here comes Rotundo, taking a look to the outside, down it to turn number one. Codera is separating himself from Gould and Rotundo around turns three and four. Still deep in the field, majority of the field nose to tail, with Brightman now trying to run away from Souza for fourth. Perry and Lincoln, the two drivers that are out of the top four right now. Massa taking a look to the inside of Lambert. That is for a top four transfer spot. Battle for fourth. Brightman trying to shut the door as he does one more time. Look at the zero of Perry closing the gap. They make contact and Brightman goes around. Susan gets involved and we got problems off at turn number two. Five. Kadira and Rotundo ready to have at it as they sit at the top of the field. Looking for the green flag off of turn number four. They're back on the throttle. Rotundo getting a jump on the outside. He'll lead it down into turn number one by a half a car length. Riley also had to crust up. Heavy smoke out of that machine. 
down through turns three and four they come Riley keeps that car rolling we stay green and some heavy traffic up towards the front of the field chasing Mike Rotundo off of turn number two and the native sets the pace for the first time in his career Cordero sits second right up on his tail, giving a little bit of tag off of turn number two. And look at the battle for fourth. Danny Massa widening that outside lane into that fourth position. Gould hanging tight down on the inside. Hendricks sliding all the way up to third with Massa overtaking that Gould, that fourth spot over Gould, shutting the door. Lincoln got bumped by Lambert. He's doing battle with Gould for fifth as Rotundo leads the pack with now 19 laps on the board. Keep your eyes on that number 34 of Sam Lincoln. He is the transfer car. He is the bubble car. In the final four chases, Jeremy Lambert slides by on the inside. And here comes Greg Perry trying to make a last ditch effort to make it into the final four. Up front, Mike Rotundo leads the charge. The Rehoboth native out front off of turn number two with four laps to go. Codera, Henricks, Massa, Lambert, your top five. Golden Lincoln, sixth and seventh. Perry has made himself up to tenth. He's got to pass four more cars to make it into the show. Rat Rotundo still setting the pace down the back straightaway. Henricks comfortably in third. Masters chasing him for that podium spot. Twin six in the air, two laps to do it. Mike Rotundo pushing that car as hard as he can, trying to find the edge. And he is right up against it as they roll down the front straightaway. Brightman shutting the door on Greg Perry with one lap to go. That means Perry is going to be on the outside looking in. And Mike Rotundo who broke a rear end last Friday night, costing him a chance at the chase, leads it down through three and four, Cadero up on his tail, but it's not gonna be enough. Mike Rotundo picks up the win. Second place going to Jared Cadera, third going to Mike Hendricks, fourth to Danny Massa, and rounding out the top five is Jeremy Lambert. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Picking up his first career, Helger's South Coast Power Equipment Pure Stock feature win. A big round of applause for Mike Rotundo. Mike, congratulations. Welcome to Victory Lane. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. So many people helped me get here every week. Um, my mom, Leah, Duchess fixed this car at least four times it's been wrecked and it's still fucking fast still fast i oops i appreciate everybody that helps me out every week um my my uncle my brother uh uncle tiger pop um T, uh, graham tkl carpentry helped me out big um rls performance man those guys uh even though we had a little falling out they're uh they're always behind my back and ryan scooch chad all those guys, they always help me out. So, oh, my stepdad's here, my little brother Ryder. So, thank you. Coming off of turn four, what was going through your mind when you saw the checkered flag in the air for you? I've messed up so many times, and I kept telling myself, just back the corner up. Don't mess up, just back the corner up. I knew the 20 was gonna run me clean. I appreciate it, he could got, he could have got into me. He didn't, so I appreciate everybody that helps me out, man. I, uh, Wayne Darling, I can't say enough about that guy. He helped me out uh, with the motor this year, and he's done so much for me. So he helps me every week as a driver, coach. So hope I made him proud. Congratulations, Gilligan. We don't have to walk. Jared, a good run for a second, and he said you had a couple of shots at him, but you ran him clean. No, I definitely, I definitely ran him clean. We had a good race. Uh, I thought he might have jumped the start of there a little bit, but that's fine. We'll get him next week, and. Uh, We'll go back to the garage this week and make this car faster. A little bit of a hiccup earlier this year, but it's got to feel real good to get back up on the podium. Oh, yeah, definitely. We've put in a lot of work between the guys, Cody, Adam, Pete, my sister, my dad, my grandparents, my girlfriend. She's actually working tonight, so she didn't be able to make it. But just everybody that helps and 
puts their time in with this car and helps out and it's definitely greatly appreciated. Congratulations, second place finish for Jared Cordera. Mike Hendricks for third place. Last week, a little bit of a rough luck. Tonight, back on the podium. Yeah, yep, yeah, a good run, all in all. Um, I wasn't catching these guys, car was a little tight, but we worked on it and we finished third, we're in the top four, so we'll take it. A lot of people behind you getting you back up to the podium this week. Yes, uh, Punky Milberg, Noah, Twiggy, um, everybody involved, really. Uh, everybody in the pits, Greg, Sam, Danny, everybody. Just appreciate all the help, and here we are. We'll, we'll see what next week brings. Congratulations. Good.